Hello there, and welcome back to part two of Broken Sword One. And we had last last episode. What did we do? Um, we discovered an underground, uh, I believe, Templar special room in, uh, in in a boathouse. I believe it was. Uh, there was an evil mine. Uh, there was the death of an important uh, French politician. I think it was a politician. But he's dead, and his wife, who seems to be English, wasn't too bothered about it because he's a bit of a flirt and a scoundrel. And now we finished with uh, the former character, uh, a, and now we've moved into this character here. So we'll see what happens. And um, yes, so just before this, a clown uh, pushed past this character you see in the middle of the screen at, out the front of the uh, cafe, which you've seen blown up. He took a bag and then dropped. Uh, what you call them, those organ things. He put one of those down, which turns out to be explosive, and then he ran away laughing. And we just burst out from underneath this blanket, and we want to know what the diddly has happened. Right, so, what have we got? Kicking of a... Is that a chair? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. The column was devoted exclusively to rumour, gossip, and sensationalism. Okay. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Jeez. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. What does that even mean? The column was devoted exclusively... Yep. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnate, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. French statesman. There we go, I think that's it, isn't it? The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnate. The guy... Yeah. Oh, not that one. How do we go back? What's this question? Oh, that's just hints. Ooh, hints. I like hints. Uh, the big story was... The guy oozed... What's this? I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read, Salah Eddin. 1345. Okay. We're keeping that newspaper, apparently. Right. Oh, there we are. I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. This guy's still doing work. This has been an explosion. That's French work, my boy. Will not be deterred. Please! Hold it! I got there! Whoa! Don't shoot! I'm innocent! I'm an American! Can't make up your mind, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapons and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Mu. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe. March. Let's march to the coffee shop. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur! Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mou? Oui, monsieur, but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. <laughs> he has no faith. Et maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Hmm. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Uh, oh, did we? I don't remember. No. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Clown. Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon, the picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Moo? 
She'll leave. She confirms the American statement. A clown with an accordion, no doubt an elaborate and eccentric disguise. Very well. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. <laughs> I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And like don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. <laughs> Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. He does look like a wizard. Oh. She's back. Oh, right, we're, in, we're back. I think that detective, he's very, um, I feel like a lot of the French characters in this are really, there's they, they, a sort of solemn aspect to it, it's very deep, uh, they, they get poetic very quickly. I like that, that's quite fun. Right, let's talk to this. Excuse me, mademoiselle? This was the character uh, previously in Hi. episode one. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I yeah. couldn't believe it. Oh, she yeah. hadn't even asked how in I was grave. feeling. Yeah, he went inside yeah, just before care. the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nicole Collard from La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account, minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty yes. of time. I don't. Who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Plantar. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? And he's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. Isn't that reason enough? Mm, I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. Strictly business. Is he just watching her walk away? I think he was. I do like the art style. It's like that comic book kind of vibe. I particularly like these squares in the sides where you like you get the close up to the face. You get the animated animated faces as well. So you, you get the sense that they're looking at you and then looking away. That's, I like that. That's good. So table, nothing there. I'm going to go over there. 
The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. Hmm. There was nothing of interest. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Cats of Doom. Yeah, silly. All right, let's do it. Okay, I've got a feeling he's going to pull this up. What would be his logic for doing this? The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. Too true. There is nothing here. Do we have things? We don't have things. What's that? Oh, it's somebody's card. Oh, hang on a minute. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. It goes nowhere. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. I decided I'd had enough of messing with that drain pipe. I haven't. We can use it as a thing. The drain pipe hung. Li oh, you. Your mischief is disappointing. Right. Okay. No, that we've done the bins. We've done the window. I feel the drain pipe. I decided I. Maybe that wouldn't... Was it anything in that? No, that was nothing, wasn't it? Okay, fine. Yeah, I know. There was nothing. We need a thing, people. We need a thing. Let's go talk to the doodaroo. There is no thing. Oh, it doesn't show when he's walking. Darn it. Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart. N'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once over, as you Americans say. Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will it's shake character. him off. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kinda... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, Monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, Monsieur. Go on and try to forget. Look, Sergeant. The inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, mm. no, monsieur. You are confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? We don't do sacrifices. I found this in the street, Sergeant. That, monsieur, is a newspaper, no? There's a note written <laughs> okay. on it. Salah Eddin, 1345. Aha! That stumped you, hasn't it? I have never been stumped, as you put it, in my life, monsieur. It is the name assumed by the clown, no? Salah Eddin the clown? I don't think so. I know the identity of the dead guy. His name was Plantau. Is that so? You knew him, did you? No, but... We'll know everything there is to know about him soon enough. I'm trying to be helpful here. The best way you can help us is to go home, monsieur. Go home. See you later, Sergeant. Do you think he'll let me in? I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken, all right. Like the sword, you'd say. Okay. I feel like we're missing something, but I'm going to have to... No, we've spoken to him. He's not going to let us in. Wait a minute. 
Would that pickaxe help? Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! Nah, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics spark quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Oh, yeah. Did you see an old guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Care did. I could have knocked his block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Plantar. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. <laughs> Did you see a clown <laughs> come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Huh! Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. He'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. He's not Listen, as helpful. I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course a not. Cop. I mean, do I look like a cop? <laughs> no. Fantastic. But you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? Yeah, an old man was killed. Man. I didn't think <laughs> it was that serious. Accent. What about the waitress? Oh, she's fine. Thank the saints. Priorities. Okay. Um. Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip. So I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. Yeah. Ah, look at this. Damn bleeding out liberals. Yeah. Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more <laughs> like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus oh, reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning she is. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stop it. Help yourself. That's a really unusual open to taking stuff okay oh well that that could be like a screwdriver or something we're just watching him walk away oh, i thought it was that one i'd found just what i wanted a tool for lifting manhole covers okay good so look yeah Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, oh, it's George. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you. I feel like we need to go and investigate the manhole. Find something. Then call our not-girlfriend some info. Right, there we go. 
I mean, they may not become a thing. But I love it in stories when they do. Oh, that's a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> Got that all in your pocket. I lifted the jacket. cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. What is the voice of this actor? I like, make me think of some, another game. Oh, it's like... Uh, it's obviously not, but it looks like blood, doesn't it? Maybe it's like in Ghostbusters. Where's he going? As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. His but a nose. It was the clown's red nose. Honk, honk. If you're... Right, there we go. Good. Ooh. Look at these arches. Isn't that beautiful? I love a bit of architecture. I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. How'd I get to run? I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Let's go up. Oh. Hi there. Hold it right there, you... you sewer rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? Your trespassing. Come out of there, immediately. Dinky car. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Everyone in France is so suspicious Keep of your everything. distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Yeah. I was looking for a clown. Huh, ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? He asked oh, about the girl. You. That is awful. And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mon dieu! And then, the man I chased, do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? Well, <laughs> yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Loving those waste pipes. What are we doing? Um, tell me about the again. man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> Just like you. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find it. Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Bravo! Ah, huh? you need some sensible boots. You won't get far in those uh, stupid sneakers. I feel he's just escalating. Do you know the himself. waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? I know no, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you say. All I'm getting is vibes of uh, what's it? Um, Beauty and the Beast. Is it the chandelier, uh, the candelabra, or whatever you call it? Was the guy you saw carrying that's the voice the I'm hearing? Well, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave, or do I have to call the police? Uh, let's show him my red nose. Take a look at this false nose. I've never seen it before in my life. What does this tissue mean to you? <laughs> Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, <laughs> disgusting. May I present to you? What on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. Okay. Do you recognize this material? I am not telling you anything. So you do. Uh, 
This is what I used to open the manhole cover. Just as I thought. You are up to no good down those sewers, weren't you? One slip and I would have been up to my neck. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm-hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid Division? A homicide. I think the ink's Hominoid. smudged. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. Lucky I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. It is your posture, your, so your poise. He's... Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should he knew know, it all along. I was in the army. Oh, yeah. Point when of authority, I was, man. Age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. How That's can I help you, Inspector? Isn't the, ba the French guy that got shot in the last episode, he fought in the desert? Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face, suddenly next to mine, his grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh, no. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. We've seen the picture. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, it was. Clutched Who in his you arm are? Like a Exclamation that mark. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? Obviously. I don't know. But the killer thought Why it was worth a want? man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. I'm asking about the girl. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her. Quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I Two weeks and 40, all week 40 hours. The relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? I think I heard something. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. We need to get that coat. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not as soon. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. Ooh, what jacket. was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todrick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with number that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get yep. a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Anger. Okay, I think we're done. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, Inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. We can't click on nothing. So the clown had escaped into the sewer. 
come up into the courtyard and then slipped back into the street here. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. Let's call her. Please pick up. Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, it's George. Ah, oh, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Luke, why don't you come here to my apartment later this afternoon? Uh, fine. Where do you live? Three six one Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come over. Are we back to her? I was used to working alone, but I had to admit it felt good with George on the case too. But there were some things I was going to have to do alone, and fast. I needed the answers to some questions. Who was the costume killer? And why did he murder Carchon? Why did Carchon ask for me to interview him? How did he know my father? And why was my editor so scared? There was some kind of secret war going on out there. But who was on which side? One thing I did know. I wasn't going to get the answers sitting at my desk. Sitting at your desk, staring at a phone. Least effective. Okay, hang on. Yeah, man. I was like, okay. If you hold the cursor just like that, the elephant has an eye. The box was carved by my father. It never had a key. The elephant on the lid was a perfect match to Cochon's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Oh, come on. Hang on, bear with me. The box was one of the few things my father left me. The elephant on the lid was a perfect match to Cochon's. The box was the elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The box was one of the elephant. Okay. I thought a key would have just did it. Like this. Am I pressing it wrong? It was the beautiful elephant, my. We're going to use the elephant. This will work, 100%. No. This is a key, right? Okay, it doesn't work. Elephant box. Let's leave. I thought the key we had would work. Okay, guys. It was the drawing room key. Oh, it's the key to the bedroom, isn't it? You can stop laughing now. God, she's so slow. Doesn't she know I'm a busy man with like no time? She just plays mystery music. Okay. It was a photograph of my father, the first one I ever took, with the first camera he ever bought me. Lovely stuff. You have no messages. Damn. Table. I'm not sure what I've clicked for. She's doing a crossword. Okay, I don't know where we're getting with that. Right, so we need to... I just like to explore everything I can. We don't need to call anybody, do we? My first Teddy. Never had a boyfriend as loyal as him. Preach. Okay. Oh, this looks like a concern knitter. Knitting a conspiracy theory. Mamsel Collard. Oh, hello there. 
Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? Oh, just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, oh, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, everything made sense. My apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called Jean-Marc, who runs a patisserie in Le Touquet. These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. Right. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. <laughs> well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. So we've got extra clues. Clues, clues, clues. Okay, cool. Um, Let's go. Oh, we've got a map. I like a map. Where are we now? That's the cafe. I don't know who Rue Jarry is. And that's where the guy died, I think. Let's go there. Do, do, do. Okay. It's a slightly older Mario. Hello, could I ask you some questions? That depends. Are you a cop? No, I'm a journalist. It's late, aren't you? They already took away the body. I'm doing a follow-up on this story. This is it. Right, okay. I don't know who Mustache Man is. Have the police finished with the crime scene? What does it look like? I got orders to board up the windows, and that's what I'm doing. You're doing a fine job. Damn right I am. You should be writing about me, not that idiot that got blown yeah. up. The heroes who pick up the pieces when disaster strikes. Exactly. Well, give me your best smile and maybe I'll put your picture in the article. Oh, right. Uh, just give me a minute to do my hair. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what's he doing? Uh... Let's go in. The police have removed the body, but nothing else looked disturbed. Quick, 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 before he, he busts us for breaking an entry. Well, just entry. We didn't break in as such. Is Some it breaking journalists in? drink break? on the job, not me. It was a brandy bottle. We just pick it up. Some journalists. Right. Can't see anything, guys. Oh, mirror. Oh. Oops, stupid thing. Let's look at ourselves. A panel had been blown away, revealing a gap. From this angle, I could see that something had been lodged in the gap behind the pipes. Santa Maria. From this angle, I could see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's one thing. Is there a second thing? Or will we a one thing situation? Behind the table were some damaged pipes. Hi. And Voila. a satchel. The police and forensic teams had missed a vital piece of evidence. Some kind of pouch. On the pouch was the cross symbol of Carchon's organization. Mm -hmm. I was on the right track. I'm on the right track, baby. Okay. On the pouch it. was the cross symbol of Conchon's organization. Inside the pouch were two items. A strange metallic artifact and a letter in some kind of code. No, not a code. Don't do a code. Another coded message using the same cipher system. So, Plantard was involved with Conchon. Oh, gra gravy bones. Okay, all right. Um, 
We're in trouble, people. Uh, right. Let's do... Plantard, Pierre killed uh, Marder. Must have a uh, no, no, must have. Pierre killed. Murder must have our old cool cold stuff trail from failed, but fooled, foiled. Oh, I oh no, I'm sure that's an O, isn't it? Actually. Follow the, follow the trail from Arno and what was that name? Yam was it Yamanda? Yamanda. He will come for us. Us now. We must be. Vigilant. Plantard. Pierre Q. Murderer must have followed trail from Arno and Yamada. He will come for us now. We must be vigilant. Thierry's girl broke into Pierre's safe. She worries me. Imelda. So much for Imelda's innocence. Plantard was working for her. And for Conchon. But why did Plantard want to meet? Was it a trap? Or maybe he was in too deep and needed me to tell the story, whatever the story was. One thing was clear. It was a story worth killing for. I can remember. Okay, that's the second one of those. <laughs> I'm not very good at them. That's it, I did finish them. Uh, right, okay. Ooh. There was nothing of interest beyond some bloody debris. All right, mate. Mirror, table, alcohol on the wall, alcohol on the wall, alcohol, um, sure you don't want that alcohol, it just looks like an object we would take. Some journalists drink on- Alright, alright, let's get out of here. Okay. Hey, what about my photos? Oh, of course, how could I forget? Well, I'm waiting. Get your camera out. Camera? Oh, I forgot. It broke. Hello. They should never send a woman to do a man's job. Well, this woman had fooled him easily enough. Huh. And found the evidence <laughs> the police had missed. That's right, little man. Um. Okay, that's cool. What is this, Baywatch? 
can she investigate it with her own unique investigating shoes? The pipes weren't going to help my investigation. She can't lift it, can she? Because she doesn't have the tool. There might have been clues down there, but I was relieved I didn't have a sewer key. Okay. Uh, it would have been good if she could spot, if she had like the eyes to spot something that he couldn't. Okay, maybe if I hadn't have broken the pipe, she could have climbed it. Let's roll. Uh, let's investigate this with our very slow investigating feet. Okay. The door was locked. People are being hunted. We crash then. Um, I didn't need to call anyone. No. Okay. The strange metal artifact I found in Plantard's pouch had pointed back to the quayside. To the quayside. An hour later. Okay. Do we need to go back in here? Is uh, oh, wasn't there like another safe? Uh, oh, have we got to do this again? Right, lift. She has got all the items, right? <laughs> That's the stuff. That's the stuff. There we go. Look at that, nice. Smooth moves. Uh, then the funky tubular. Wouldn't it be cool if you had a place like this, like a secret place that was cool? Uh, hang on. Because the because she's Liberty, isn't she, in the image? So, and that's what's on the thing, apparently. There we go. And we're in. Plantard's key fitted the lock, so he must have used this Perfect place too. Perfect, Okay, give me the stuff. Uh, a photograph had been torn up. Is it the other half? Lay it on the table, yeah. If I could just arrange the pieces. Oh my god, okay. Famous. Uh, oh, I wouldn't read it. Uh, so the whole photograph fits within the available space. Okay, people, brace yourself. Let's roll. Uh, something like that. Uh, something like that that we'll put that there we'll put that there uh we'll put that there oh my god it can't be it's your papa and uh, um can you rotate items no you can't can you Um, hold on. Are these these are in the wrong place? There we go. Uh, oh, could it be that it's that it's too high? Something like that. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, okay. Um, oh, we've got a spare bit. Well, it's always the same you DIY, isn't it? Um, okay. Does that make you happy? Yes, it does. Uh, and then that goes there. There's a little bit of... Um, what do I do with this piece of New Zealand? Okay, we'll put that over there. There's plants coming out somewhere. Uh, whoop. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. That's an ear. And uh, that is a nipple. And then... There was no doubt about it. It was a picture of my father. No Papa. Doubt. Oh, God. 
After what I'd gone through, I thought I could face anything, but not this. My father, he was a the one person in the bitch. whole world who I truly admired, okay. standing with Cachon while those murderers carried on with their evil work. My father, grinning Cachon at the camera. The Caradon. I couldn't believe it. Shocky buggers. I realized that I desperately needed to get to the bottom of this story. And that I really needed George. So somebody definitely destroyed that piece of the photo, very specifically him. Could he still be alive? Is he an alien? Bigfoot did it. Cthulhu told him to do it. Later that afternoon. Let's roll. Let's get it right over then. Okay, cool. I pushed against the door, but it seemed to be locked. Oh, it would be, wouldn't it? The door was shabby and in need of a coat of... I couldn't imagine the Collard woman living here. Should I squeak my uh, new honky uh, nose? No. Hi. Oh, hi! Bonjour, monsieur. Would you like me to call me a bozo? Uh, no bozo, thanks. Monsieur. I'm very good. It only takes a minute. Thanks all the same, but only I'm not superstitious. Minute, Besides, if it only takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. What's he doing? Do you know a young woman called Nicole Collard? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me in the apartment block across the street. I tried the door, but it's locked. You know, I've told the landlord about that a million times. It is a dam. The old building is like a sponge. It sucks up the moisture from God knows where. You mean the door is stuck because it's swollen? That is correct. There is an art to opening it. Don't yeah. shove to it. Need Just shoulder. give it a gentle nudge Need. above the log. Thanks for the advice. Okay. I've changed my mind. Will you tell my fortune? You're going on a long journey. The longest my, journey? Oh my, what a surprise. Can you tell me anything I don't already know? Are the flowers for sale? Oh yeah, I need oui, some. Okay. I'll take a bunch of those white ones. I wouldn't do that if I was you. No? They are lilies, monsieur. Some people associate them with death. death. Yikes. Thanks Yikers. for telling me. What other flowers do you have? Yika. Dahlias? What do they signify? Insecurity? Hmm. Why I don't want to give her the wrong idea about me. What about What about the death? tall yellow ones? Those are iris, the flame of passion. And the little yellow ones? Insecure passion. Sensuality. Well, they're no use to me. I want to make an impression, not jump down her throat. Death in soup. Alright. How does this fortune-telling routine work? If I knew that, I wouldn't be selling flowers for a living. Haven't you ever wondered why you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. Hundreds Some of us are born with a built-in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. Okay. Uh, should we ask her about that fabric? What can you tell me about this material? It's a very expensive piece of cloth, monsieur. She knows. What can you tell me about this tissue? Try to read Nothing. the stains? No, okay. Do you like noses? Do you recognize this nose? No, monsieur. Have you seen my pipe? What do you make of this tool? Is it something a dentist would use? <laughs> no. No, it's for raising manhole covers. Formidable. I don't think it's that formidable. How long has Mademoiselle Collard lived here? A few months, she's in for a shock when the cold weather comes. Drafty windows, insufficient heating. It's a struggle to keep Tall warm. ceilings. The only reason Thin I stay curtains, is because large of windows. She, your young lady, she deserves better. Uh, she's not my young lady. I thought Mademoiselle Collard was a successful photographer. Not as successful as she makes out for all her fine clothes. Oh, I've heard uh, her Block trying 90's to tell colours and leather jacket, night. which is probably That's awful. Easy. Now, don't you let on that I've told you. She's proud, that one. Too proud, if you ask me. I don't know what to do about her proudness. Can you really foretell the future? Only time will tell, monsieur. 
The strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Other people, I have no problem. But when I try to see what might happen to me, nothing. That must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that, or I don't have a future. Have you seen anyone out here watching Mademoiselle Collard's apartment? Yes, I have. A strange man. Tall and thin as a broomstick. He kept his face hidden. But I saw his eyes peering from evil little slits. How was he dressed? A long brown raincoat with an hat. Or like Humphrey Bogart. Yes, but he didn't have Bogart's charisma. Besides, this guy looked like he needed a toilet. You never saw Bogart clenching his buttocks like that. Is there anything else you can tell me about Mademoiselle Collard? No, monsieur. Okay, we're done, aren't we? See you later. That's right, monsieur. You will. All right. It's not like that. We were just talking. There's no more to it. Um. Let's draw boundaries. Remembering the flower seller's advice, I pushed the door gently just above the lock. With a knee jab. Hi. Hi. Bonjour. I'm just glad you could make house. it, monsieur. Uh, please, uh, call me George. Fine. I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. Georgie boy. Okay. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Eh bien? And what have you been up to? I've been exploring the sewers underneath the cafe. I thought I could smell something bad. The clown used the sewer to escape and attitude. change out of his costume. I guess he was in a hurry. He left his jacket behind. And? I got his tailor's phone number. You had better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. What happened? My what editor being... told me to drop the story. Can you believe it? But you're not going to do that. Oh, no. I'm going to find out what's behind these killings. It just doesn't add up. She will it crush almost them. feels like some sort of conspiracy. The police in three different countries have kept very quiet about the murders. The press don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. Well, that covers just about everyone. Tell me more about yourself. <laughs> There's nothing much to tell. Well, how'd you get in photography? I guess I owe that to my father. He bought me my first camera. I was eight, and my parents had just split up. Now let's bond over things we're clashing against. Tell me mutually. more about the clown's previous victims. The first was Arnaud Bellotta, the millionaire pharmaceutical baron. He made his money oh, from amphetamines no. in the post-war slimming and diet boom. Imagine it, millions of housewives literally speeding their butts off. The only witness in the case was his Filipino au pair. She swears he was lured to his death by a snowman. What about the clown's second victim? Yamada, the controversial Japanese politician. He inherited his fortune from his father's electrochemical consortium. How did he die? At the hands, or should I say flippers, of a giant emperor penguin. A snowman, a penguin, and now a clown. I had been about to add mine to the list, but stopped myself. I really didn't want to have to explain to George about my father's involvement with Cachon. You know, I hate to admit it, but this is scary. And I'll tell you this, I will not be accepting any invitations to costume parties. I don't blame you for being scared. I am too. But this story could be my only chance for a big break. Or an early death. Is it me? It was the audio, like the recording of the different voices. Just like sometimes it sounds like it's in a booth, other times it's fainter or louder. I know it's an old game. I just observation with the ears. Did you live with your father? Yes. My mother went off with her new boyfriend. I didn't mind. Tension. Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died in a plane crash. Oh, I'm. Sorry. It's all right. I don't mind talking about it. He was all I needed. He was he more died. like an older brother, really. Okay. Always joking and laughing. Papa always wanted me to study art. That's why I went to college. Did you learn about photography at college? God, no. I couldn't afford the materials. We were billed for everything we used. Paint, canvas, paper. Most of my gear turned to minimalism. It was cheaper. I used to go poaching in the park for squirrel hair. The only time I wasn't hungry was Can't the time I did printing. I used to eat the potatoes. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. Uh, I want to show her my rod first. What do you think? This I'm... is the tool I use to get into the sewers. Fascinating, George. You're not interested, are you? Oh, of course I am. I think it was very brave of you to go down those sewers. Yeah? Well, it was kind of scary, but... Oh, no. Well, I had a job to do. 
Yeah. Okay. That my rod did not impress. I found no. this false nose in the sewer. What do you think? Cool. Hey, what's this inside it? The contents of someone's nose? Don't be cross, George. It says La Rise du Monde. Masks and costumes. It's a costume it's shop costume. near the Gare Saint Lazare. I'll check it out. Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. This is good. This is exactly what we were talking about when I was talking alone. I want to show everybody my hanky. I found this tissue down the sewer. See, look at it. <laughs> That's disgusting, George. She's no, turning no, her nose no, off I think the again. stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use or clowns. It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. No, it's a clue. It's a creative backwards clue. I found a piece of material near the cafe. When I showed it to the concierge, he recognized it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, George. It's an enlargement I made. Look what that guy's wearing. Checkered pants. The same it's material as I found in the sewer. That's right. C-shaped scar. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. And he's got oh, really no? hard Take a sleuth look at his right cheek. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Or a crescent moon. Or the letter C. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. Oh, I get it. It's like a... You know. I want you to know I like you, but I'm not going to say I have to go. Okay, yeah. I'll see you later. He made me very uncomfortable with that photograph. We're leaving. Okay, we've spoken to the very shocked Nita. She's very concerned. It probably sees the future in it. Um, what am I supposed to do now? Leave town. What's this? Where is this? Oh, up there. Uh, that's the police force. Rue Jarry. I don't know what that means. Dumont. Is there tomorrow? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, people. This is good. Okay, he's having a heart attack. As you can see, the his heart is popping out of his chest, so he's a clickable. Music. But there is nothing else there. There we go. I'm gonna look at your machine and talk to you yet. You can wait. Okay, we need to stop that. Excuse me. Bonjour, monsieur. Please, come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind. I think we... It's just it's walls, too much. Fantasy is king. Uh, okay. I don't want a costume. No, Didn't no. you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible. You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie. I don't have a sister, and I think I'd look pretty silly in a brassiere. I just need some information. Of Keep course. it serious, George. How can I Keep help it serious. you? Uh, yeah. Um, no, I don't wear ladies' underwear, and have you seen I'm the clown? I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. Oui, monsieur. I do not see how I can help. Don't you keep a record of costumes that you've rented out? Of course, monsieur, but... Uh... Well, then, I'd like to check your records. Give me the names of everyone who's rented a clown suit. Impossible. There are too many. That's an angry parrot with a punk look. Okay. Have There's... you heard of a man named... Plantile? I do not recall Plantard. any one of that name. Uh, i got to show everybody my pipe. Go on. What does this tool mean to you? Nothing, Philosophically. Monsieur. Philosophic, no, okay. Uh, do you recognize this man? Oh, so oui, Monsieur. Thing. I sold him some grease paint. What about a nose? Do you want this red nose back? Not after it's been worn, thank you. He seems a bit shocked, and his hair is unique. Oh, yeah. Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Hmm. Let me smell that. See, the first person to take my tissue seriously. Paint, isn't Best it? Best Imers number seven, white pancake. Theatrical grease paint, right? Oh, oui, monsieur. La creme de la creme of Cespian accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? Yes. I Two was going to say thespian. 
Okay, cool. Uh, do you want to look at my picture again? Do you recognize this man? Ah, oui. He was dead. Is the Oops. man to whom I sold the grease paint. I remember the scar on his face. He chose two costumes. Bozo the clown Both. and Seamus the pixie. A pixie? Very Seamus smart. Seamus the pixie. Green silk with a taffeta, taffeta lining. lining. Yeah. He gave me his name as Monsieur so Khan. Khan. Like... A Mongol. Thanks for your help, buddy. My the pleasure, Monsieur. Horse Allow me to shake you by the hand. Huh? Uh, well, okay. okay. Is, is, there's gonna be a trick. He's a joker. Well, he said again. What are you trying to, to do? Uh, kill me? Fried you did not find it amusing? I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. Eh bien, it uh, is yours. You haven't been to, to an keep. asylum. A gift. Do I need a license? No, but I give you a word of warning, Monsieur. What? Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. That's true. That would be a shocker. The nose was hollow. It was a bright red plastic nose. Part of a clown's costume. We've it was the shake and shock boy. buzzer I'd been given by the man in the costume shop. Okay. We've talked to him, we played Music of Death, we've ignored the depressed monkey and the other animals. There seems to be more death occurring here. Even the parrot doesn't agree, and the bear looks terrified. If that clown came to life, wouldn't that be a twist? Okay, there's nothing else here. Let's move out. Um, oh, it's coloured it grey. That's good, that means that's done. Right, we're going to hit the police station. Uh, let's roll. This guy just stares into the distance. There's no paintings in any of this. It was just oh, some police paperwork, a uh, search warrant. Yeah, we don't talk about Excuse me, Sergeant. What do you want now? I'd like to talk to you. Is Rosso him. here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Oui, oui, yes, monsieur, I do. One moment, monsieur. 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 Get my words. It's Stobart, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. Did he say what it was about? No, monsieur. <laughs> Very well. You don't ask. You should have asked, man. That's the whole point of being at the front desk. You are there to block people like me away. Hi, What's Inspector. This? Remember me? But of course, Mr. Stobart. My mind is a well-ordered faculty. A mental classification system Flicks. that's the envy of the Bibliothèque Nationale. Maps. No tricks, mark you, monsieur. Just exercise. Just as our muscles waste through inactivity, so our minds decay. But there is no need. If only people would learn to exercise their wits daily. If he was trying to impress exercise. me, it worked. He was pompous and patronizing, but he had style. Eh bien, if you called about the bombing, you're too late. Investigations have we been began. closed, yeah, but began. I've been taken off the case. What about the murderer, the dead guy? It is out of my hands. Don't you want to know what I found out about the killer? I told you, monsieur, the case is closed. I have washed my hands of the whole affair. Then I'll have to continue my investigations without your help. No, you must forget the business of the clown completely. Go back to being an ordinary tourist, Stobard. Did you find out the ID of the guy who was killed in the explosion? I already knew who he was. I heard that the bomb victim's name was Plantow. Your sources are reliable. He was a big shot of the treasury, wasn't he? Maybe that's why you've been taken off the case. I'm sorry, monsieur. I cannot comment. So long, Inspector. I guess that's it then. Do you know a man named Khan? He's a shifty looking guy with a scar on his right cheek. No, monsieur. Has this man any connection with the bombing of the cafe? Yes. I believe yes. Khan was the name he used when he hired the clown costume. I found this red nose in the sewer. What were you doing down there? Fishing for clues. 
That's where the clown went. You still insist you saw a clown, monsieur? Of course. And this novelty nose proves it. It will take more than a plastic proboscis to convince Inspector Rousseau. You don't want this as evidence, then? Certainly not, monsieur. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, monsieur. It's the guy who bombed the cafe. The clown. This man looks nothing like a clown. He's taken off his grease paint and costume. Look then there sounds. is nothing to link this man with the killing. Nothing? Look at those murderous eyes. That's true. Mm. It's not really enough. Hardly likely to get him convicted. He's not going to want to see my rod. But I'm going to show it to him anyway. What do you suppose this tool is used for, Sergeant Moo? It looks like something an obstetrician would use, monsieur. It was with tools like this that the clown made his escape. I don't understand. He opened up the hole and disappeared into the bowels of the earth. If you say so, monsieur. I'm sounding mad at the See you later, Sergeant. Go. Let's leave it. Um, if I leave here... No, it's still red. There's still stuff. Uh, anything else? Okay, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. Surely, like, if we found, like, Khan's name or something in that Excuse book. me, Sergeant. What do you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Would you like to shake my hand, Sergeant? Not while I'm on duty, monsieur. The gesture could be misconstrued. So true. Do you recognize this dirty tissue? No, monsieur, I do not. I found it in the sewer. Perhaps it would be better if you put it back there. No way. This could be an important clue. I sound If you insane. say so, monsieur... I also is think... Rosso here? Yes, he is. You wish to speak to him? Oh, yeah, we do. Yes, I do. One moment, monsieur. I want to set up. I'm pretty sure that this wizard-looking detective... It's no detective, monsieur. He insists on talking to you again. I think he wants to get rid of me. I think he's involved. I think he's up to something. He has the face of a guilty man. Hi, Inspector. Remember me? His crime. Uh... Oh, okay. Look, it won't let me select anything. So long, Inspector. Okay. I would muck around with See you him, later, but Sergeant. it takes too long to walk in those flares. Uh, okay, fine. Call somebody. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart, I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No, no, that's not possible. Oh, okay, uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Ah, oh, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm mm. not. No way. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. The man I'm looking for is called Khan. He bought a suit from you, remember? Mr. Khan. Yes, I Khan. remember him. Yes, I delivered the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I, uh... Don't remember the room number. It was mm -hmm. upstairs. The second room on the right hand side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Todrick's now I got you, Mr. Clown. Mr. Clown. I didn't get to do the other options. That's okay. Let's leave. That should be done. Oh, it's still red. Hotel Ubu. Japan, France, Britain, America, Germany, Italy, and Switzerland. And a pair of shifty fellas. Excuse me. Yeah. You, you happen to know a guy named Khan? That ain't nobody I know. Strange Jackson. You ever meet a guy called Plantow? No, I ain't. You missed your chance. If you're quick, you'll catch him at the coroner's. Have you seen a guy dressed as a clown? No, I ain't. Don't tell me I missed him. Oh, that's too bad. I love the clowns, don't you? I've seen daytime television that was funnier. 
I love it when the little guys get hurt. That figures. Custard buys, holds pipe down a pants, then smack a plank in the kisser. You Do you recognize team? the guy in this photograph? Is this a trick question? No, I simply asked if you recognize him. Okay then. Nope, I don't. Shake my hand. Nah. Oh, rats. Tissue. Do you recognize this tissue? Think carefully now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna have to hurry ya. Ooh. Eh, time's up, so I'll tell ya. It's a used tissue with a liberal dump of best timers number 12. If you say so. I don't know where we were going. Have you ever seen this. this clown's nose before? Nope. Mine as well. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. See you later. See Not you if you see me first. That's. Okay, moving on. Excuse me. There's yeah. A clown in there as well. Uh, Do you know a man Khan? by the name of Khan? No, I don't. It's very important I get to Rat see him. Boy. And I told you, I don't know him. This is French. Have you heard of a guy called Plantar? No. That name means nothing to me. Clowns. I'm looking for a clown. Are you trying to be funny? No, I really am looking for a clown. Yeah, no, there are no see. clowns here except you. Do you recognize Body. the guy in this photograph? No. I never saw it. Okay. You know what? No, that's gonna work. All right, let's go inside. Hi there, ma'am. Well, hello. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me, my dear. For one foolish moment, I thought. But never mind. Aren't you going to tell me your name? George. George Stobart, ma'am. How sweet! I once had a stable boy called George. I am you Lady him, Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not obligatory. A real lady? I mean, you're an honest-to-God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. Few of my ancestors are honest, not even to God. I can trace my family back to the Normans. But don't let that intimidate you, George. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. The blood may be blue, but the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can help this is too you? Too much. Have you seen the most? I'm looking for a murderer. Good heavens! You're a private detective. That's correct, ma'am. What's the term you Americans use? It's on the tip of my tongue. I believe what you're thinking of is Dick. Precisely. <laughs> this is this is all over the place. Uh, no. Have you come done. across a man who calls himself Khan? I am familiar with only one person named Khan. Genghis Khan, the legendary Mongol barbarian chieftain. No, darling, Kevin. Kevin Khan. I never heard of him. I'd be most surprised if you had, darling. He's a pharmacist in Hemel Hempstead. Organized these fundraising for the Rotarian. Lovely man. Does he have a scar on his cheek? I really wouldn't know, sweetie. You should have. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? My God, it's him. That's Merlin. She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. Yeah. Britain is Europe's slippery deformed insane cousin. Are you here in Paris on vacation? No, darling, I'm on holiday. I needed to get away after Algie's funeral. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not, he was my husband. Fair enough. Did you know there's a gangster out front? What makes you think he's a gangster? The Italian suit and the bulge in his pocket? I know plenty of men with Italian suits and bulges in their pockets. That doesn't necessarily make them gangsters. <laughs> Depends what you mean by the word. Um, right. The man you know as Merlin is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. He also uses the name Khan. 
I am shocked, Mr. Stobart. Shaken. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman, a man of honour. Do you know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. A wild romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton chef. I must say I was disappointed with his cock van. Not at all what I was expecting. I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Hemel Hempstead. That was until last night. She just had to finish it like that, didn't she? Uh, there we press What this. happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. They couldn't really miss. It was just as I'd always imagined it should be. The intimacy of candlelight. Romantic music tinkling across the room. And then, a stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. He was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. It must have been a lot of fun to have been the voice actress for this one. Who was the guy who led you on? His name is Merlin. Huh. Would she recognize his nose? Do you know what this is? I'd guess. I'd say it was a clown's nose. That's right. It was worn as a disguise by a vicious killer. Ah, Mr. Merlin, perchance. That's him. Right, let's... When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk chappy. Something passed hands. I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantar's briefcase. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Are you going to search his room? If I could get in there, I would. Okay. Um, would you like to see my rod? Can you think of any use for this tool, ma'am? Oh, I can think of someone I'd like to use it on. She didn't go where I Does this tissue go. mean anything to it's you? Good. I'm no shrinking violet, but that object makes me feel quite queasy. I just couldn't bring myself to use the buzzer on this dear lady. Okay. What's this day doing? Excuse me, didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Such a thing to say. Yes, that is me in person. I don't want to worry you, Just but pick any have of you them. had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This Do dude. you know a guy called Plantau? I don't know anybody in Paris. Oh, well, this guy's dead anyhow. Why do you ask me about dead men? I have seen enough of death to last me a lifetime. I'm, uh, sure you have. Have you seen a clown? I beg your pardon? The clown. A guy in funny pants. Have you seen him? My pants are from England. Marx and Spencer. They are a pleasure and a comfort to wear with That's much fantastic. support. I'm real glad to hear that. You know, it's good to know you Nobel Prize winners are human, too. In my country, the people make do with string and egg cartoons. For pants? For everything. Oppression is the mother of ingenuity. Sweet. Do you recognize this man? He calls himself 
Khan. Yes, I know this man. Why do you carry his photograph? I'm a private detective. What's your interest in Khan? He is an enemy of my people. You know he's a killer? Of course, amongst other things. Jeez, that's clear. Tell me more, old man. Would you help me investigate Khan? That is not possible. My instructions are to observe. I cannot jeopardize my position as an honored guest of this country's government. What does this clown's nose suggest to you? In my country, we have no use for clowns. Because everybody's I'm dead. I'm glad to hear okay. it. They were dealt with most severely in the last cultural cleansing. What about the mimes? Did you get them too? All gone. Our streets are mime-free. Sounds like heaven. What is he referencing with this eastern block thing? Right. Oh, whatever it's called. Let's leave it there. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. I don't think he'd appreciate the buzzer. Um, if we move this way, does the image... It does move, doesn't it? I don't like this person already. I want some information. Who are you? The police? Or I'm conducting a private investigation. Ah, I know only too well what you mean. That is one of the drawbacks of the catering business. When people book into an hotel, they leave their morals at home, no? What does this box mean? I'd like to retrieve something from your safe. Ah, oui, monsieur. May I see some form of identification? Uh, like what? A driving license, perhaps? I don't drive. Your passport? I don't have it with me. I could show you my operation, Scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't Remember find this. a more unique ID than my scar. I'm sorry. I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. Like this man's nose. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. It's Merlin, isn't it? Alias Khan, the clown. I told you, I cannot tell you that. Okay. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. If you say so. Do you know a man named Plantau? No, monsieur. Do you have a guest by the name of Khan? No, monsieur. Perhaps you would care to check the register. The man who called himself Khan has a scar on his right cheek. Vraiment? I tell you, I do not know a man named Khan. Maybe not, but I'd noticed a change in his expression when I mentioned the scar. Hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. I'm still sore from the shock administered by one of the guests. He was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah, sure. I just wanted to put hands together. You won't let me take them, will they? Excusez-moi, monsieur. What? You were trying to steal that key, no? No, no. way. No way. <laughs> Go upstairs. He won't, he won't be worried about that. Um, the door was locked. We're going to do every door. If the tailor's description was correct, this was the killer's room. The sign on the door read 22. The door was locked. Attention. Okay. There's two doors. So this door doesn't have an option, nor do they. So this door is probably accessible. Maybe we go out around the window and crawl over the ledges and then into the forbidden room. But <laughs> I don't know. Um, she wants to kill him anyway. Let's talk to her. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Ooh. Nothing. 
There was an alley, wasn't there? Hello again. May I shake you by the hand? I do not shake the hands of imperialist dogs. Now that's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. Come on, Have Roger. you any idea what this tool might be used for? I cannot guess. Would it mean anything if I told you it was for lifting drain covers? Eh? Such technology fills me with wonder. Does this goo-smeared tissue mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's like if the character's tired of me showing Thanks everybody for your help. the tissue. Goodbye. Okay, we've chatted to these people. These people are done. We can't go upstairs because we can't get in the doors. So if we can't get in the door... Oh! Just a minute, monsieur. What's your problem? No problem. If you cooperate. What do you want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flap. You bet! Oh, steady. Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Nothing, Guido. Zilch! Our apologies, monsieur. What? I had to report you to the authorities. Round here, we are the authority. You want I should break his arms? No. Let him go, no. Flap. Let his arms flap. Fly, fly away, little bird. Fly, fly. There we go. We're going there. Okay. Let's focus. What's this? Come on, come on. Maybe this will be like an escape route or something. There is nil of the poire. There's n not a single petty poire. Look, one. Well, there is. That's the runaway petty poire. Nay. Uh, can we electrocute the nose? Hmm. Maybe not. Can we nose the rod? Hmm. Maybe not. Can we rod the tissue? Hmm. Maybe not. Can we use our rod on the photo? Hmm. Maybe not. Should we smear the photo? Hmm. Maybe not. Electrocute the rod? Hmm. No, okay. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay, that's fine. Let us retreat. Oh, how do we retreat? There's back. We can't escape. Do, 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 do. How do we get out? We can't get out. We're trapped. That just goes to the back. Okay, there's something going on. Let's report the goons. Maybe the man will leave the front. We grab the key. We get in. We do our thing. Maybe the key only works in the wrong door. I don't know. Report the goons. There was no one registered under the name, but the name in the book for room 22 was Merlin. Correct. What now, monsieur? I've just been manhandled by a gorilla. Yes? I do not see any signs of a gorilla. No, not a real gorilla. It was a guy who looked like a gorilla. It happened right out front of this building. Let me get this quite clear. Mm. Are you complaining or bragging? I want to know what you're going to do about it. The scrawny one has a gun. I suggest you contact the police. Can't you do anything about them? What goes on in the streets of Paris is hardly my responsibility. That's such a door. Um, Aren't you concerned that your guests are being intimidated by gangsters? No one else has complained, monsieur. Did they steal anything from you? Well, no. They didn't find what they were looking for. What was that? I don't know. I don't think they did either. I believe Khan, the man with the scar, is also known as Merlin, the man who has taken room 22. What of it? What do you want? Access to his room. Do you have a license, monsieur? Huh? A private investigator's license? Well, not exactly, but I can explain everything. I am sorry, but without credentials, I cannot help. 
About the key hanging on the hook over there. We, oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. I would like that key. I'd like to check into room 21. That is not possible. How come? You said it was vacant. It is reserved for another guest. Rats. No, monsieur. Dutch. I insist you give me the key to Merlin's room. I cannot do that, monsieur. This guy Merlin is a menace. So you say, monsieur. He's not only a danger to society, but to your guests as well. He has toyed with the affections of Lady Piermont. <gasps> yes. Are there no depths to which he will not sink? Precisely. He's already killed once, twice, maybe as many as three times. With your help, I just might be able to stop him. But what if he finds out I have helped you? No, I cannot do it. Do you recognize this red nose? No, monsieur. That was the card I played. Uh, okay, um... What do you make of this tool? Please say it's good. Stunning, monsieur. I bet you handle it like a professional. Okay, this is not working. In book. Maybe she could understand. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to aid you in a criminal act, darling? 100%. Oh, no. For it's fun. the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scout Bonner? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? It's next to the room the killer is using. Ah, so you plan to eavesdrop on Merlin? I was hoping there might be a connecting door. Well, how can I refuse? I shouldn't think Pulse. my feminine charms would be much use in this case, but a good dose of English arrogance might do the trick. Hmm. What am I seeing? I say! You there! Flinky! We, oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, yes, sir, madame. He's going to poison her soup. <laughs> okay. Over to you, my dear. Um, let's get him. Let's go. The door was locked. Just think about it. Now maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. Oh. Right. Uh, what's in the cupboard? I don't need to go in the cupboard. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. Camphor wood? Okay, we'll do this. I know we've got to do the window. I'm sure of it because it's the only thing I think of. And then, like, you know, you've got, like, those bins The cabinet the was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding. It really did. Careful with onions. Let's do this. No prisoners. Let's rock. Feel free to get out there. Shimmy, shimmy. You don't have to stop. Backwards going. Okay, 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 okay. Cabinet quick. 
The assassin had been too smart to leave incriminating evidence beside his bed. Is that right? A kabade. Let's check the kabade. Here we go. Hmm. That was ill effective. <laughs> the closet was a solid, impressive. If I move him there, there's two, isn't there? I'm well confused. <laughs> Just opened, I got that. The closet was a solid, impressive piece. Okay, okay. Um. Oh my goodness. The bed. Let's shake the bed. What's this? The bed was freshly made, and the crisp white sheets told me nothing about the killer's habits. Other than he was clean. Hmm. What do you mean, hmm? It was the battered leather briefcase I'd seen Plantar carrying Don't just before empty. he died. I searched the interior of the briefcase, but as I'd half expected, it was empty. Doom-laden sausages. The closet was a solid, impressive piece of antique furniture. Okay, leave the closet alone. Just trotting along. I don't understand. I feel like both of these things need to open up. The closet was a solid. Yeah, the is, closet was a is there anything in it? Because it's got two circles. The closet was a. The closet was a solid, impressive okay. piece of antique furniture. Shrugs his shoulders at me. Okay. Well, I don't see the point in having come in here then. Like, I keep thinking that's like some kind of evidence or cloth or something. Clear. The closet was a solid. Go, 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 go. So help me God. It's two circles. The closet was a... If he says that... The closet... It was Khan. I had the kind of feeling in my stomach that would usually send me running to the bathroom. Okay. I thought we were going to, like, nick something. As Khan opened the wardrobe, I was sure I was dead. But he grabbed his pants quickly and didn't even see me. I don't want to see this. I didn't usually spy on men getting changed. You don't need to state it to make a point. But this guy was a killer. And I didn't want any surprises. So you watched. He left okay. his checkered pants on the bed. Smooth moves. Maybe because he's in a suit. Maybe he's like a gangster. Like those other two. Maybe those other two are related. Pockets. I had that kind of feeling you only get from searching still warm pants. There was nothing in the pocket. A strip along the side seam of the pants had been unpicked, then sewn back up with strong thread and a special stitch. The pocket was empty. I flipped the pants That's over. That's great, isn't it? I found an ordinary matchbook. No matches, no clues. But as I pulled it from the pocket, a strong thread came with it. A thread with a metal tag on the end. Say what? 
I pulled on the metal tag and the thread came out of the pants. It was like pulling out a ripcord. The pocket was empty. Okay, let's flip it over. I love I that animation. Pants over again. I searched the pocket gingerly and found a pass card. It read Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Okay. Uh, the pocket was empty. That's empty. Is there anything else? There was nothing in the. Anything there was nothing else. else. Flip it. I love that. I turn the pants over again. That's very good. I found nothing. No. The pocket. No. Okay. Retreat. Um, I think we need to escape. Shimmy, shimmy, baby. You can go in. So, okay, so I've done that. Let's just check, check this. What did we get? It was the card I'd found in the hotel bedroom. It read, Thomas Merlin, Thomas Gruber Merlin. Electronics Corporation. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we done with this area? Hold it right there. Oh dear. Search him again, Flash. Nothing, Guido. Okay, let him go. Okay. I don't understand. So obviously I haven't got something that's important. There's definitely nothing else in here. Yo, yo bro. So I've missed something, that's fine. Can I just go in it? No, he's unlocked. No, he'll be locked on that one one about. Oh, it's open. I've got everything. The assassin had been too smart to leave in... Okay. Maybe their conversations have changed. I feel like, you what know... now, monsieur? Does this pass mean anything to you? That is Monsieur Merlin's proper... That's right. Merlin the murderer. I want to see what he's left in your safe. Impossible. I cannot betray his confidence, no matter what you say he's done. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. I can live with that. A murderer? Are you sure? Positive. Huh? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Okay, we won't show him the key, because that'll just escalate. Um... We'll Hello again. The key and the... Does the name on this matchbook mean anything to you? Indeed it does. For Alamut was the home of the old man of the mountains. You do not know him? No, I don't. Do you recognize this card? No, I do not. Okay. Thanks for your help. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? I found this matchbook in Merlin's bedroom. It came from the Club Alamut. It might be useful to find out if that club is in Paris, George. 
That gangster I told you about? He went through my pockets just now. Good heavens! One never knows what to expect in foreign parts. Thank you for the warning, young man. I shall hide my credit card in my underwear. I found this pass in Merlin's room. So, that deceitful little man is passing himself off as an electrician, is he? Uh-huh. This guy probably has a million faces. I showed the pass to the clerk, hoping he'd give me Merlin's papers. But he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll mm. give him something to be scared of. Follow me, George! <laughs> I have Jennifer Saunders on your team. Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madame. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail. Give him the package. But that is against the law. I happen to be a justice of the peace, you silly man. I am the law. If he tries anything, shoot him, George. My pleasure, Lady Piermont. One moment, please. Shoot him. That's tight. You Ooh. know, I haven't enjoyed myself this much since Green and Common. I don't know what I would have done without you, Lady <laughs> Piermont. This guy is pretty crazy. Voila, monsieur. Le manuscrit de monsieur Merlin. Thanks. How satisfying. An Anglo-American alliance that actually worked. The clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. I decided not to unroll it until I was safely back in Nico's apartment. Let's break. Let's move on. Um. It was the ancient manuscript which Khan had stolen from Plantau. Are those hooligans gonna like investigate us and see if we've like? There was no one registered under the name, but the name in the. Yeah. What now? Uh, none of that. I feel like it's gonna escalate. I couldn't leave the hotel with the manuscript. It was probably what those thugs were looking for. Okay, excellent. Call the police to get rid of them? Or climb out the windows? Climb out the windows. Okay, we're going to climb out the window. The cobbles of the alleyway looked very distant and very hard. Oh. What about a bed sheet? Maybe a bed sheet? And then you tie it? Can't jump across. This is the only way out. <laughs> he looks so nervous. <laughs> um. There was nothing else in the pot. The assassin had been too smart to leave. Okay. The cobbles of the I thought jump into the bins. Is there a way further along? I 
I knew this was no way to treat an ancient manuscript. Drop it out. But I couldn't let it fall into the hands of the goons waiting outside. I'm like a genius. Like I, I do get worried that I'm too smart. Excellent, eh? There is no stopping me. Hold it right there. Search him again, Flash. Amateur gorillas. Nothing, Guido. Okay. Let him go. There it is. If the manuscript. Yeah, we got it. We got it. I couldn't wait to get back to Nico's apartment and check it out. I bet you can't, mate. Back to Nico's apartment. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi. Come in, Josh. These two are going to fall in love. It's going to happen. You're just not going to believe what I've found. It's not another part of the clown's costume, is it? All right. It's a medieval manuscript. Khan left it in the safe at the Ubu. It's incredible. Is this what he took from Plantark? It could be, which means it's worth enough to kill for. A bull. Look there, two Can guys on the same horse. Oh, yeah. Maybe they couldn't afford one each. What of it? Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? Their official seal was an image of two knights sharing a horse. Mm -hmm. Whatever this manuscript means, it's connected with the Templars. How come you know about these knights? I learned about them while writing an article on the Crusades. How cool is this, huh? This guy named Hughes de Payne. This guy. Arrived one day at the court of King of Jerusalem. He offered to protect the Christian pilgrims from the displaced Muslim armies. The king would be able to guarantee safe transit to Christians in the Holy Land. Safer journeys meant more pilgrims, and pilgrims meant trade and wealth. The Templars proved invaluable to the king as a mercenary army. It was said that they never asked how many the enemy numbered, just where they were. And as the years went by, the Templars grew in wealth and number. They were so rich, even kings came to them for loans. But at the height of their power, they fell foul of the King of France. He rounded them up and turned them over to the Inquisition. Thousands of Templars were subject to torture and confessed to heresy. Of course, at the end of the Inquisition, there wasn't much they wouldn't confess to. The last Grand Master Jacques de Molay was burned alive. Jeez, so the treasure is hidden, waiting to be discovered? If there ever was a treasure, it's been lost for 600 years. Anyway, we're supposed to be investigating a serial killer, not a medieval treasure trove. But maybe that's what the clown and his accomplices are after. Maybe this manuscript is the key. You'd better leave it here for safekeeping. Let's take another look at the manuscript. Look there, two guys on the same horse. <laughs> two guys. There's a guy working on a loom. loom. He's weaving yeah. a carpet or a tapestry. tapestry. Or a duvet cover. It's a clue to a place, I reckon. Somewhere famed for weaving and ships. Castles. Where folk live in or barrels. Coast. It beats copper boxes. What's this, like the, um... That big... There's a guy with a sword stone. and a bull. The Can't only think. mythological bull I know of is the Manator, but he was only half bull. I don't think I'd like to be half a bull, even if it was the bottom so, half. The attic, What's that attic, object between attic. them? It looks like a the gem Northern's on top of a tripod. Bang. Bang. Yeah, that's it. That's that as above, as so below, maybe. A knight with a crystal ball. There's something written on the scroll beside the knight. Yes, but it's written in Latin. Per disciplinum mea lux videbis. By my teachings, you, you will see, see the, light. the light. You speak Latin? Where did you learn a trick like that? Oh, he's a in. trick? So in. I studied law, okay? I can read Latin. Ma, you're touchy. Tell me that again.
a knight with a crystal the knight scroll through my teachings you will be enlightened let's face it we need help george someone who knows about these things who do you suggest indiana jones i know a guy who specializes in medieval studies his name is lobino huh. some stuffy old fossil who gets horny over ancient relics i suppose far from it Andre isn't stereotypical professor you have in mind. He's a giant. Where can I find this Lobino guy? At the Krone Museum. I'll give you the address. Right, we'll do these bits. I found this in the killer's room. What is it? A credit card? ID. Thomas Merlin of the Gruber Electronics Corporation. Never heard of him or the company. Yeah, but it's just... I found this matchbook in the you. killer's hotel room. It's from the Club Alamut. Never heard of it. Is there anything written inside it? No. What were you expecting? If this was a movie, there'd be a clue. A name or an address. That's but it's no a game, use. isn't it? There aren't even any matches in it. Oh, well. I'll keep it as a souvenir. Okay. Should we shake our hands? Hey, Nico. Shake hands with me. No chance, Buster. <laughs> Booster. Oh Let's God. take another look at the manuscript. Oh, yeah. I want to look at the other sides. There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three, three hideous faces. faces. She reminds hideous. me of the Wicked Queen in Snow White. She was the one who said mirror, mirror on the wall, wasn't she? She made me cry so much when I was a kid, Mom carried me out of the movie theater. She didn't frighten me in the least. Like I said, I was only a kid. I didn't like the crocodile in Peter Pan either. Okay, very, very cool. Uh, we looked at that one, didn't we? We looked at that, so there's only five points of interest. Um, I was just there's a guy say with that a again. sword and a bull. Between sword them bull. is a gem supported by a tripod. Is that sacrificing? The gem is like... That famous as above below gym. Who knows? I don't know what it says on that either. That's really fun though, isn't it? That's very cool. You know, do you know what I find quite interesting about this game is that it Oh, we can't get away. Look there, two guys on the same horse. Yeah. It, that this came out long before, you know, you had all the um obsession about the Knights Templar. This is like quite quite early in comparison. A knight with a crystal the knight scroll bear through my teaching. That's that. There's a woman looking but the ref three hideous faces. Okay. Um What are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, George. Yeah? You have a copy of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Oh. Well, did you find anything useful? <laughs> Not yet. Harsh. I'm employing my first and most useful weapon. What's that? Patience. Oh, I've heard of that. Isn't it a substitute for decisive thinking? When did we suddenly become snappy? Do you have a boyfriend? Not anymore. There was someone. A guy in my final year, but it didn't work out. Neither did my degree. I'm sorry. I'm not. Tell me more about your family. When I was a little girl, I used to spend the winter with my grandfather and grandma. They were the best times. Warm and safe in their tiny cottage. My grandfather rolled cigarettes while grandma made hot chocolate and cakes. Mm. One day, he stopped his groaning. He put the lid back on his tobacco jar and took me in his arms. I laughed and wriggled, but he hushed me to be silent. With his unshaven chin all scratchy in my ear, he told me his secret. What did he say? He said, I don't smoke, but she likes to think I do. What a weird old man. Don't call my grandfather weird. He was the nicest guy ever. I wish I was back in that cottage instead of this crummy apartment in this noisy city. Let's take another look at the map. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you escape to go back? Because there's a little tinkle in the music. I think, oh, did I go over something? There's a guy working on... There's a... Between them... Yeah, yeah, okay. He won't let me out of it. A knight, the knight through my...
There's a but the Okay. I have to go. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. Okay. Well, that was interesting, isn't it? I, yeah, I love that this came out before all the fuss about the Templars. Like, you know, like you didn't, you didn't have. Yeah, yeah. It was just, it was just like it's before it's um before the craze started. So they did it before it was cool. It's, it's a, I'm enjoying the art style. I'm enjoying the story. And I think we're going to stop this episode here. So uh, until the next one, which will be part three, uh, you take it easy. I'm Cheekster. Bye bye.